Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you how to add an image next to a radio button on your WordPress contact forms. Sometimes it's easier for users to select an image rather than a checkbox or a radio button. With WP Forms, you can easily add an image next to a radio button so users can quickly select the right option they want. Without further ado, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head over to the form builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left hand side. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick out one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords using the available search bar. You can also create a form entirely from scratch if you want. It's all up to you. For this tutorial, let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. Once the template is loaded into the form builder, you can customize it however you want. You can add in new fields by dragging them from the left over to the right, rearrange the order of the existing fields, or delete them entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. Let's start by adding in a multiple choice field to our form and clicking on it. When you do, you'll be able to customize the field, like updating the label, adding or removing choices, adding a description, and making it a required field. Let's say that this is a contact form where our users will be able to select which product they'd like to get more information about. I'm going to update the fields label to ask just that. What product would you like more information about? And we're going to update the label for all three choices. Right below the third choice, you can see a toggle switch called Use Image Choices. When you click on it, you should then see an Upload Image button appear below each choice. Click on the Upload Image button, which will then open up your WordPress media library, where you can either upload any images you'd like to use, or select from any images you've previously uploaded to your media library. There is something important to keep in mind when selecting and uploading images for this purpose. Images will not be cropped or resized when you add them to your form. So we recommend all image choices be the same size and keep them 250 by 250 pixels or smaller. You can go to the Advanced Options tab to customize the style and layout of your image choices. The image choice style lets you choose from modern or classic or no style. Modern displays selected images in a shadowed box and adds a green check mark to the center when selected. And classic displays selected images with a thick gray border. The None option won't add any special styling. Instead, you'll see traditional radio buttons next to each image. For the choice layout, you can pick from one, two, or three columns, or inline, which places as many options as possible in each row before adding another. You can also choose to randomize the choices each time a new user visits your website. If you have the pro level of WP Forms and have activated the Surveys and Polls add-on, you can enable survey reporting to see how many people choose each image choice you offer. When you're done, click on the Save button on the top right corner, and we're ready to set up our form's email notifications and confirmation settings. We'll click on the Settings tab on the left, and we'll first click on Notifications. Notifications are emails that are sent when a form is submitted. These emails will include any entry details that the user submitted. By default, WP Form sends all form email notifications to the administrator email address for your WordPress site. So if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. If you'd like for multiple people to receive a copy of the notification email, you can manually enter their email address in this field as well. Just be sure to separate each email address in this field with a comma. Next, you can customize the subject line for the notification email as well as the name the email will say it's from. You can enter an email address in the Reply To field if you would like for users to be able to reply to this email. Finally, in the message portion, you can include a custom message if you'd like, or you can leave it as it is. The all field smart tag that appears by default just means that the message portion of this email 
will contain all of the filled-in fields that the user submitted in your form. If you would like for your site's visitors to also receive a notification email after they've submitted the form, the easiest way to set this up would be to create a copy of this notification by clicking on the clone icon on the top right of the frame. You can then rename the notification. I'm going to call it user email notification. And in the send to email address, I'm going to use the smart tag that corresponds to the email field in our form. That way, this notification will automatically be sent to whatever email address the user entered in the email field. Click on the show smart tags text on the top right corner of this field, and then click on the option that says email. You'll then see the smart tag that corresponds to the email field in your form. You can then edit the email message field however you want, whether that be adding a custom message, removing the all field smart tag, and so on. Once these settings are configured, let's set up our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form. Message, show page, or go to URL. The message option will display any message that you write in this available text field. The show page option allows you to select an existing page on your site, like a thank you page or something similar that will be displayed after the user clicks on the submit button, and the go to URL setting will redirect a user to a different website entirely. Once we're done, we're going to save our changes and we're ready to add our simple contact form to our site. You can click on the embed button at the top of the page and either choose to add your form to an existing page or create a new page. Let's go ahead and create a new page. If everything looks good, click on the publish icon on the top right corner and we're all set. You now know how to easily add image choices to your WordPress forms. Before you go live, be sure to test your form to make sure that everything is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.